gonna hear me break another controller and punch a hole through my monitor and then snap my headset in half. Take my katana and slice my inner stomach open. Need a wet nap. I'm gonna need a wet nap over here and a, a dry towel. Have you actually had your butthole lick? It's the best. Oh, no! No! That's bullshit! Flatland Mark 2 when you can do with me like that! I didn't give consent! Oh! 11 kills in 20 seconds! Place of the week! It'll split though, cause OG Mario left the game. Fuck that guy for ruining my feed. No! Christmas, man! Wow, pull him in, you're the biggest camper in SG. I'm gonna be popular one day. I hope. <laughs> You know, if you look at it objectively, I think that 2017 was both really good and really bad. But for the clan as a whole, we did make a lot of progress, especially with regards to YouTube. We began uploading regularly at the end of the summer, and that resulted in 30 new videos and a quadrupled subscriber count. And I hope that we're able to continue that trend in the new year with the help of many contributors and commentators along the way. So back in June, we did what later became known as the first ever SG Road Trip. I drove north to Iowa to pick up Steve, and then from there we went east to Michigan where we met up with Kava and Ultra. Now there's a lot that I could tell you about this road trip, and there was a lot that I probably shouldn't tell you about the road trip, but what I will say is that it was definitely one for the books, and bringing our gaming relationships into the real world is something that I've really enjoyed, and I think that it's something that we should continue to do in the future. A lot of the veteran Republic Commando players, such as Lightning, Centrio, Alice, Shock, Admiral, and myself, in addition to the clan founders, Mom and Blitz, returned for a 1v1 tournament in July. Although none of us won the tournament, it was pretty cool to entertain the nostalgia, at least for a couple weeks, and return to the pre-Call of Duty days. So we're always very appreciative of our sponsors, Jerky Pro, Catalyst Mints, and Cinch Gaming. But it was only recently that we did acquire the sponsorship of another company called Gamers Apparel, which is based out of the UK. With their help, we'll be opening our first ever team apparel store very soon, and it's been awesome working with Jamie and his colleagues, so I, I'm really looking forward to what we'll be able to get done in the coming year. Personally, I really enjoyed Infinite Warfare, and I didn't want to leave it. I know a lot of other people felt the same way, but with the new Call of Duty coming out, it, you know, it made sense to kind of wrap that up and move on to build the MWR team and practice up before Boots in the Ground became the norm again. But Unfortunately, all of that was brought to a complete halt back in October when tragedy struck. Clan director Ethan Fargo, known in-game as Rebel1615, died after a motorcycle accident. Ethan was a charismatic figure from the day he tried out until the very end. He loved recruiting new members, dropping nukes, and most importantly of all, getting to know his clanmates through late night game sessions. You could talk to him about, about literally anything without fear of being judged, and he would always be more than happy to listen. He was constantly looking out for other people, whether it be getting them through a painful breakup or saving someone from a burning car in the middle of winter. His easygoing nature didn't prevent him from running a tight ship, though. If you pissed Ethan off, it probably didn't end well for you. But to lose someone who was basically responsible for forming the clan's culture into what it is today, who was, who was loved by everybody, you know, it's devastating. I just, I can't believe Ethan's gone. I can't believe it. Let's fucking get it, boys. I got it. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Allah! Allah! Let's get a flawless. Let's get a flawless double right here. When I went to New Hampshire for the funeral arrangements, his mom gave me a hug and she said to me, that team meant so much to him. We're going to bring the stream team back better than ever before. As far as YouTube is concerned, we'll keep uploading and eventually get to 10,000 subscribers. Ethan showed us the way to greatness without compromising our integrity, and we're going to make that mean something. You know, I find that it's, it's all too easy to get caught up in sentimental feelings or to, to idealize the good old days, but the fact remains that each day is whatever you make of it. We're going to take 2018 head on and we're going to do it together, not as the NA Grind Squad or as the EU Gang Gang, but as the Scrata family.